Hello. Um, this is the last video in a set of videos titled A Crash Course in Circuit Theory. And we are made it to this last circuit where we can take the information that we've learned and try to apply it here. Also to do a simple analysis of an electronic control system circuit. Uh, let us begin. Uh, there are some things that I would like to point out uh, in this circuit. Uh, in this circuit, you have uh, your main control element, which consists of a microcontroller. Uh, you have some inputs and you have some outputs. Based on what we've learned, uh, you can basically count the circuits that you see in front of you. Uh, here is a voltage divider circuit. Uh, here is a, another voltage divider circuit. Uh, these two circuits are used to provide information to the input. You can see the IN1 and the IN3 label. And then you have three output circuits. Two of them are LEDs and one is a buzzer. And you can see that they are labeled here according to the connection on the mic controller. So altogether, we have five circuits and we also have one module. We've just identified the two input circuits. Well, we have two inputs and we have three outputs. Now let's go over to the input circuit and see if we can identify the actual control component. Well, the actual control component for this system is a push button which we know is a has a digital um, signal output because it only can be pressed in or out. And this basically is an LDR component. The arrows indicate that it receives energy from an outside source and it causes it to change the value of this resistor. So it is another type of control component, but this one is analog. Now let's come over to the output components. Uh, since these three circuits are directly connected to the output of the mic controller, we can assume that they are all digital or then being activated as a digital signal. So all of these are basically on-off control. So these are the three load components, two LEDs, because the arrows are coming out, indicates that it outputs some kind of energy. In this case, it will be lights for the little caddy, little kitty. And then, of course, the buzzer. This is a symbol for a, a crystal buzzer to represent the sound made by the little kitty. Uh, the kitty can make a sound on or off. If you want a more realistic kitty, of course, you need some analog control. So those are the load and these are the signaling. To continue with the analysis of this circuit, notice how the circuit is organized. You have the power rail across the top and the bottom. This allows your circuit to be, get easy access to the railing, to the, sig to the power. Notice that I put all my inputs on the left of the mic controller and I put all my outputs on the right as much as I can. Sometimes the circuit can become more complex and this is not feasible. But for simple systems you can do this. Uh, your controller is normally located in the middle. If you notice the battery is not shown but there is a battery that is connected to this because the 5 volts or the 4.5 volts has to come from somewhere. And we leave that up to the designer as to how the 4.5 volts will be uh, supplied, whether it be a battery or an adapter or a solar panel, because that's basically a separate design. That's power systems design. Uh, if you notice, we have a series of vertical lines and a series of horizontal lines. The vertical lines typically represent your power 
that's needed by the different circuits as it flows from the plus to the minus. And in this case, the microcontroller is acting as a power source for these three elements. So the power is being supplied to each of these components. The, these are vertical lines. The horizontal lines typically represents how signals are passed from one circuit or module to another. So typically we use horizontal line to represent uh, signaling. Uh, in this system you have traditional components like resistors, diodes, push buttons, and then you have non-traditional -com components like a microcontroller and an LDR. For non-traditional components typically you just draw a blocks, block and you put terminals around the block. This is the uh, objective that you have, and your objective is to find a solution for your design and to draw a solution circuit. The analysis portion, the electrical analysis of this system requires a lot more labeling, which includes node voltages, are no labels and current direction and we would also need an operational plan as to how you would test or operate this system but for now this is what our objective was for this series of videos to get you to this stage where you can successfully and understandably create your final solution or your electrical drawing for your final solution. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.